Hello guys, so today I'm going to tell you the recipe of neem flower fry. So this is the neem tree branch and these are the flowers. We can find these flowers in spring season from March to April and after April they turn into fruit. So I'm going to tell you the first day now without any delay. Let's get started. So we'll take a bowl now and we'll take the branch. So we must have to be careful and we must have to take the stem which consists flowers. So we'll pluck a stem now. So I plucked one. And now we will carefully take these uh, flowers out. We must have to be careful that these thin stems must not come. I'm going to show you. Okay, now I'm going to pluck these like this carefully. So I've plucked these many flowers so far. We must have to pluck it the same way I did. And the second step is that we will we must have to dry these in sun for whole one day. And after a day we will uh, take this out from the sun. And uh, I'll tell you the third step then. So it is the evening now and it's all dried up. It got crunchier now. So the third step is nothing but it getting fried. So let's get started with the cooking. So this uh, the ingredients are chili, red chili powder, cumin seeds, salt, oil and of course our flowers. So now I will let this stuff. Okay, now I'll put the pan. And now, uh, I'll put four spoons of oil. One, two, three, and four. So this. So now we will add these seeds. Now we'll put it in high. And we'll add these seeds, cumin seeds. Now let's just mix it once. And we'll have to wait until it gets roast. So until then, let's keep mixing this. So it's getting roasted. I can hear the puk 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 sounds. See, the bubbles are coming also. The big, big bubbles. Now, it's getting roasted quickly. So now, it's turning into brown shade, dark brown. Hmm. Now, We'll put our flowers in this. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Now, we will mix it nicely and properly. So, we must have to wait until this gets roasted. It must have to turn into brownish shade. We we'll mix it a bit like this. I can all uh, I can already like smell it. So I'm really having fun making this. And the smell of it is also very nice. And it's even getting brownish type. In one minute it's gonna like get roasted. So I hope it really turns tasty for me. Because when my mom makes it. It's really tasty. Like the smell is great. And I'm having a lot of fun. I love cooking. So now it's roasted. And it's time for the next step. So the next steps are 
salt which is half teaspoon we'll add it now mix it a bit then chili powder 1 teaspoon now we'll mix it nicely wow the smell is so tasty it's making me water my mouth now after this gets mixed well, like mixing, now I can see the different shade. Now, now we will turn off the stove because it's ready. Like, so now I'm going to give you the review of it by tasting it. It's best suitable with uh, rice. Now I'll mix it. So now I've mixed it. I'm going to add a few drops of ghee. And I'm going to mix it again. And it's time for tasting. But it's turned out perfect. It's really tasty. It's not even bitter. And it's crunchy. It's really tasty. I advise you to try this please. And uh, this is an Ayurveda medicine also. Yearly we can make it. We should make it twice or thrice. It's really like Ayurvedic. It even gives us a lot of immunity to fight, uh, fight the COVID pandemic out there. And it's really like very tasty. I... Like advise you to please try this every year, try, uh, thrice or twice. That indeed was very tasty. This is my grandmother's recipe. My grandmother passed it to my mom and now my mom passed it to me. But that indeed was very tasty. And I advise you to please have it at least once in a year. It cleans your stomach very nicely. It removes bacteria and germs from your dust so i would like please uh, really advise you to please have it once or twice in a year thank you